Hello and welcome back to the Common Colt Podcast. Colts Podcast, real takes, no clickbait. I'm Josh Hudgens, joined by Dan Hertzler. How's it going, Dan? Uh, not too much. We got real football happening tonight. Kansas City and the Lions getting started here shortly. Uh, but we want to talk about the Colts. Before we do all that, though, Ooh. man, uh, some of you some of you caught last week how when I made a comment about Alec Pierce, I called him Alex Pierce. Now, I got to apologize to Alec, to his family, to everyone involved. We know they're watching. Yeah, I know. Some of you know me really well. I got four kids. I got two dogs. I mix them up all the time. Most chances I do pretty well getting the first initial right, but I might call someone Alex, Adam, Aaron, all sorts of things. So Alec Pierce, I apologize. I still believe in you, though. I still think you're going to be a, a fantasy sleeper this year. I'm predicting nine to ten touchdowns from you, Alec Pierce. So don't let me down. But, hey, we're not here to talk about me and all my failures. We're here yeah, to talk about going. how – yeah, how can the Indianapolis Colts beat the Jacksonville Jaguars week one? We we got some ideas here of what the Colts can do. Josh, what do you think? Well, Dan, the streak is still alive. Since the Colts haven't won a home opener since, or not home opener, excuse me, a season opener since 2013. Yeah. 2013. That was back when Andrew Luck beat the Raiders. I remember watching that game. Uh, it's been ugly. The closest we came was the tie last year well, which against the Texans, which – was bad. Um, yeah. Thinking about this game and the Colts are four and a half point underdogs against the Jaguars at, at the time of recording this. I think the experts, I think a lot of people would say it's going to be tough for the Colts to get this win, but I, I think they do actually have a shot. Uh, looking at this team, which split with the Jaguars last year and the fact that, hey, AR5, there's no NFL tape on this dude. And they don't know. I mean, we watched some preseason stuff and we've seen the RPOs and all that, which he was, he was fairly decent at. They don't know what to expect from that Colts offense without Jonathan Taylor even. It's not like we're just going to line up under center and hand it off up the middle like we could with Taylor. So things are going to be a lot different. And with the new head coach and Shane Steichen, new play, I mean, a lot more different going on. Hey, there's a lot of reasons why that can be a negative, but there's other things that can make it a positive, which is what you're saying. This is a chance for Shane Steichen and AR to come out, especially their first 15 plays. We hear it all the time in the NFL. Gripped at the first 15 plays. It's one of the things that we kind of got really disgusted with last year yeah. because it looked like the Colts were, were such slow starters. This is a chance for them to go, hey, what are the top 15 plays that AR likes uh, that gets him rolling? We've kind of seen in the preseason it takes him a series or maybe a few throws to get things moving. So a lot of nice, easy stuff early. And – uh, you're playing at home, so, so you got the home field advantage, you got the crowd behind you, you got all the energy going. Uh, you want to take advantage of that, and I think I'm not really sold on the Jaguars. Now, don't get me wrong; they're a good team, playoff team. Uh, you know, Lawrence did well last year. Uh, definitely, uh, he could be a, a really good uh, NFL quarterback, and that's the way he's projecting and, and, and moving towards. But, but for right now, it's game one, and uh, maybe there's a little rust. So, I think the Colts have a chance to really to kind of kind of kind of get off the, the the jump and and start off fast against the the Jaguars. Yeah, it, it's interesting obviously at home all that momentum is going to be there for Richardson in his first game at Lucas Oil Stadium by the way. Um I'm going to be there and I hope to see some uh, actual uh, maybe maybe uh, uh we'll see some common cult fans there. I don't know, but uh hopefully nobody throws any eggs or uh, splashes any beer on me or something that'd be a shame. But um another thing to consider uh Josh Downs uh, him and Isaiah McKenzie, a little, little, I don't know what it was. Uh, he's uh, down to starting over McKenzie. McKenzie puts on Twitter something like, Hey, I don't feel the trust. Maybe that's about his girlfriend. I don't know, but it's interesting that he gets cut like last week. And now this, now, now Downs, a rookie starting over him. Regardless, I think Josh Downs has a chance to, to kind of be a big impact against this Jaguars team, especially with that chemistry, uh, for the rookie quarterback who, Richardson has built with downs throughout most of this offseason. You hear about him training in, in, in rookie camp in the parking lot. I think a lot of times as people and especially as quarterbacks, when when you first start out, when you're a little uncomfortable, you go with what you know. And I think we're going to see him, especially early, keep his eyes on guys that he has the most chemistry with. And it sounds like Josh Downs is going to be one of those guys. So I'm really expecting Downs to to maybe be a dark horse in this game and help the Colts move them chains. And uh, I'm I'm really I think he might be a big key to the Colts uh, getting an upset if they can pull it off. Yeah, yeah, I, I I you know I think that whole chemistry, veteran, rookie, all that stuff, it's pretty common in the NFL. Social media kind of exasperates it a little bit and and you know obviously mckenzie he's a competitor he wants to play he's gonna play 
okay, uh, you know, let's not think that Downs is going to take all the snaps, but he's going to play. He just, you know, he, he's he's kind of feeling the pressure probably now as an old guy. What I also like, though, on the other side of the ball, the defensive side, is that, uh, again, you got the same defensive coordinator back. You got a defense that was was pretty good. When you think about how limited the offense was last year and how much we asked the defense just to kind of bend but don't break, they can keep that up. Now, they're real young on the back end. Uh, you got none, no more of those veteran Gilmores or, or cornerbacks back there. But if they could just kind of force Jacksonville to make plays and not just give up the home run balls, like force them to kind of work it down the field, uh, yeah. that might be a little frustrating. So so now you get the Colts. They, they get up to a jump, quick start, uh, maybe maybe some new plays that they never expected. Now all of a sudden the defense has forced them to work down the field. Jacksonville starts pressing a little bit. Um, hey, uh, I am not a, a believer right now that the Colts are just going to kind of roll over for every game. We're going to kind of just work through a bad season with a rookie. I think the Colts still have the potential to be a very competitive team this year, even with this roster. And, and I think game one, this is exciting. I am really, excited. really excited to get this game going. I'm so excited for this new era to begin. And, and it's going to be, it, it, again, we said this a few uh, months ago, the Colts are moving to, to must-watch TV because of AR and, and Shane Steichen. And, and this is the beginning of it. And, and I'm excited for this. And Shaq Leonard is back. He got cleared from his concussion. Uh, that's going to be a big return for the Colts defense, a playmaking linebacker, man. A lot a lot of reason to be excited. Dan, uh, I'm predicting if the Colts win this game, be a close game, probably a defensive battle. Uh, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it 20 to 17, a Colts win. Matt Gay in his, in his Colts debut makes a game winning field goal at Lucas Oil Stadium. Um, what, what's, if the Colts win this game, what's your prediction? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I honestly, I, I can't quite see AR leading a game winning field goal drive, uh, but I can see uh, him scoring 27 points. Uh, I can see maybe one or two to Alec, Alec, Alec Pierce. Uh, over the top as the defense sucks in and then, a, you know, AR throws over the top. I can see the defense making a nice stop at the end, kind of sealing the game. So I'm going to go 27-17 Colts. Uh, I'm excited for it. Let's get going. Hey, man, Lucas Oil Stadium is going to be pumping. Colts, we are back. I'll be there. Don't splash me with anything if you see me. Appreciate you guys watching and uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Go Colts.